Hey everybody, Lewin here at GarageBand and Beyond. Hey, how's it going? Today's video is another video by request. This one is for Red Rover Guy. Thank you very much for sending a request. I've needed to make a video like this for a while. Um, a couple of people have been bugging me about it. And uh, Marty Schwartz, too, most of you probably know who he is. If you don't look him up, he's the best guitar teacher on YouTube. All right, so let's talk about um, how we hook up guitars to Macintosh. Um, now, Red Rover, you asked specifically how I set up my guitar and how I get my guitar to go into my computer. So I'll tell you really quickly, because the path is a little bit longer than most. Um, I go from my guitar to a PreSonus 2 Pre, out of the 2 Pre, into a PreSonus Comp 16, out of the Comp 16, into an M-Audio Fast Track, and then into my computer. Now, that's sort of the more expensive advanced and uh, professional, I'll use that word loosely. Um, that's the way that, you know, most of us go in. Uh, we have external interfaces and things like that. But there are cheaper, significantly cheaper and easier ways to get your guitar signal into your Macintosh. Um, let's talk about that. So right here I have this beautiful, wonderful cable that I used for a very long time. And on one end of it, it has a mono quarter inch jack. Now this is what you would find, of course, uh, on any electric guitar, cable, bass, they all use that kind of cable right here. This is that standard cable for any electric guitar. The other end of it is a little bit more unique. Um, it's a eighth inch mono jack. This is the typical size that you'll find for like a pair of headphones or something like that. The biggest difference is that it has uh, mono, that it is mono. Now, it is possible to buy an adapter that is female quarter inch, the larger one, to a male mini jack, like this, eighth inch. Um, I don't really like those, and I'll tell you why. They add a little bit of length to a standard guitar cable, and then what happens is you have, you know, well, let's look at my guitar cable right here. If I was to add a jack to here, so basically suddenly the end would be here, the thing would be like that, and then as soon as I let go, you can see it's kind of heavy. This jack, all the cable, you're, you might be moving and pulling on it. I think it's a little bit dangerous for the jack on the back of your computer. And we'll talk about that jack in the middle in a minute. Um, so I don't really recommend the adapter route just because of the weight and the pressure that it puts on your computer input. Um, you can do it, but if you do, I would recommend like taping the cable to the back of the computer just to release that pressure on the jack. Now, I keep talking about the back of the computer. If you look, uh, if you have a desktop, I have an iMac, um, and this is the same goes for if you have a laptop or something. On the laptops, it's on the side, and it's the other eighth inch jack right next to the headphone input. There's only two audio jacks on Macintoshes, and one is for headphones, and that's really easy to identify because it has an iPhone, uh, headphone jack uh, headphone image right next to it or above it or something like that. So the jack right next to the headphone one is actually the input and that's where you would plug in uh, the cable, the eighth inch mono cable. So what I'm going to show you now um, after this is how to set up all the preferences and things if you're just using a cable. Alright, so uh, let's get to that. Alright, so here's my Max desktop. Now the first thing we want to do when we're connecting with just a cable or a cable with an adapter on the end of it, we will go down here. My dock is on the right. Most people is down here on the bottom. I have mine over here to the right. Now you go to system preferences and you click on sound. Now you'll see two different options here. Internal microphone, which is exactly why you see this input level changing as I'm speaking and the line in, which is where you just plugged in your guitar to the eighth inch jack. Now, select line in and close that window. Now let's open GarageBand. Now one thing I can say is if this is the way that you plan on hooking up your guitar all the time, it, it will remember these settings um, all the time. So let's just go ahead and start a new project just so you know where we are starting from. Uh, we will choose new project over here, electric guitar right here, and choose. We'll call this one how to hook it up. Not like that. How to hook it up. And hit create. Alright, so 
Um, now, the first thing you want to do when, once the GarageBand window is open is go up to GarageBand in the upper left-hand corner, go down to Preferences, and go to Audio slash MIDI, which is right here. Second one on the row. Now we want to go down to Audio Input, and so depending on where you have this, yours might say built-in microphone or system setting. Let's just, for example, say that it's on built-in microphone when you get here. You will want to switch it to built-in input. And yes, you want to change the audio driver. All right, that's that for this window. Now we'll close that. We'll go over here, and we will, right here, this button all the way to the left of this row next to the little guitar. We want to click on that so it's red. Now the last step of this process is coming over here to the amplifier on the right-hand side. We want to double-click on that, go down to Monitor, and hit On. And now, my guitar. Right? That's actually a pretty simple thing to do. Now once you're here, you know, of course you can go back and, you know, you can change your effects and your amplifier settings or whatever it may be. Um, but that's how you do it. The cheapest way to get your electric guitar into your Macintosh is using a cable or an adapter. And um, I hope that was helpful. So please stick around for lots more videos on GarageBand and beyond. And uh, I think that's it for today.